Hey guys, Janky here. Welcome to the first episode of the Let's Play Satisfactory series. On this episode, I'll complete the first two tiers of hub upgrades and I'll have my starter base up and running. So far, I've dismantled my drop pod, found a really good location for the starter base, and I've completed the first six sub hub upgrades. I haven't unlocked any of the main hub upgrades as of now, but I've made a time lapse of the work I've done. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I make sure to read all my comments. The mods I'll be using in this world are the Fixit Cam mod and the Third Person View mod. These mods are strictly just for montages and just to add a different view for the showcasing and won't alter the gameplay in any way. Anyways, enough of me talking, there's going to be a lot more of that later on, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with all the preliminaries for the moment. So I have rods being produced over there, plates being produced over there, screws over here, and the reinforced iron plates over here. It's it's all a mess, honestly. It's actually really horrible, and I haven't seen a mess like this in a very, very long time. But yeah, I, have, I, I, I really have no choice here because I don't have any of the... I haven't bought any of the, like, uh, conveyor walls or anything like that, so we're gonna have to suffer for, like, a while, at least in the beginning. And over here I have the concrete, and then back here, I got, oh boy, okay, hang on. Alright, so back here I have the cover being produced, I've got the wires and I've got cables. They move all the way through the bag and they come to storage over here. So what I'm planning to do is, actually the cable's already backed up, okay, awesome. So what I'm planning to do, I'm going to actually collect as much as I can, at least in one um, storage container, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reroute everything, all the other um, buildings, into a uh, sink system. That way I can get the awesome coupons, which I can use at the awesome shop. And I actually need to buy a lot. I think I need to use like 15, um, yeah, 15 coupons worth of stuff. I need to buy the walls, I need to buy the ladders, I need to buy... What else do I need to buy? I need to buy a lot, but regardless, this, I, I calculated around 15 coupons worth of stuff that I need to buy. And I don't even have any of the alternate recipe, so I'm gonna to have to go on a hunt. So right now, I guess I'm just gonna wait until most of these um, the storages are full, and after that, I can actually rearrange this again. Because believe it or not, this actually this this place, by the way, this place is actually crazy. There's like four. Hang on, I'll show you. Yeah, okay. So one, two, three, and then there's one over there. Four, four iron. These are all pure. Four iron nodes, and they're all pure. I got copper, two copper nodes over there, again, pure. A concrete or I mean, a concrete node over here, again, pure. So, and I'm not even running this at maximum capacity. Like, even though this is a Mark 1 miner and I'm supposed to be getting 120 ores per minute, I'm only, I, I don't, I only have like a Mark 1 conveyor. So like, I'm only using six, like half of what I'm actually supposed to be using. So yeah, this isn't efficient whatsoever. So once I have the uh, reinforced iron plates coming along, then I can actually start rearranging this entire thing once again. So at the moment I'm just gonna wait until these storages are full and then we can rearrange it again. So yep, I guess I'll see you guys in a bit. 
And you know, actually, while I'm waiting for this to fill up, I think it's better if I go and cut down some more trees because I am burning through biofuel so quickly. And while I'm doing that, I can actually go and search for some of the outer recipes as well. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> now while I was fooling around, I was also able to unlock the Cassis Crew alternate recipe. Not to mention that I found an open source of Caterium that I used to start a small production unit to unlock some of the good stuff in the map, like the Mark II power pole. Then, with the tickets I made, I bought the conveyor walls, door walls, ladders, wall outlets, and the walkways. In my opinion, these are the essentials for building neat vertical factories. Alright, so with the new unlocks, it's time to rebuild the entire starter base. Which means, it's time for another time lapse. So, you know what, let's just get right into it. <laughs> Okay, that actually took a long time to make. I know it was only a few minutes in the time lapse, but in reality that took like a week because of the time constraint I have. But now I'm done. And I really like how it's come out. Power is almost 100% efficient. Unfortunately, there was this small calculation mistake I made, which is why it's not really perfect yet, but it's honestly not really that big of a deal. Once I have the next tiers unlocked, I'm going to have to upgrade this whole place again, so I'm not going to bother too much with that. Right now, I'm going to have to move on to the next tier as quick because I am running out of biofuel to power this whole factory. So I have to be quick in unlocking coal so I can automate the power production. Cutting trees and making biofuel is just too tedious and time consuming. So right now, I'm going to start making the smart plates. 
It's 50 smart plates to progress to the next tiers, I think. And I have two power shots, so I can speed this process up a bit. Okay, the smart plates are done. So with that, I can finally unlock tiers 3 and 4. Funny thing, actually. I had to come up with a design to make the plates and rods. So I'll be showing you guys how to make that pretty soon. But that's all we have time for in this episode. On the next one, I'll be unlocking the quartz tree in the map. There's actually an open quartz source nearby. Along with that, I'll also be upgrading the base and getting steel unlocked as well. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any suggestions, questions, guide requests, or anything like that, feel free to comment down below. And of course, like and subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you guys next time.